Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. During my recent Q&A, a viewer asked me how weight training can specifically fight cancer. I told him that I would be covering that topic in an upcoming video. Well, here it is. First, a little background. In August of 2015, scientists discovered that irisin, which is dubbed the exercise hormone, though it is technically a protein, does exist in humans. And those who engage in routine exercise have higher levels of this protein in their blood. But let's get even more specific. In an eight-week study published this past June, it was found that men who underwent strength training specifically had significantly more irisin in their blood than sedentary men and even men who engaged solely in cardiovascular activity. This study also discovered the more fat mass an individual has, the less circulating irisin, while the more muscle mass an individual has, the more circulating irisin. So now you're probably thinking, well, that's great and all, but what does all that extra irisin mean for me? Well, a Spanish study had found that healthy folks over the age of 100 all shared one common trend, higher serum irisin levels, and they based this on 79 participants, so a relatively decent sample size. Whereas the same study found that younger individuals who had suffered from a heart attack had significantly lower irisin levels. They drew the conclusion that both exceptional longevity and vascular health are greatly influenced by irisin levels. But if those longevity and heart protective benefits are not enough for you... A study out of the University of New Mexico found that not only did irisin reduce the vitality of cancer cells, but irisin also caused some cancer cells to self-destruct. Since both exercise and greater lean body mass result in higher irisin levels, the researchers conclude that this is the reason why exercise reduces the chance of developing cancer or its return. In fact, to quote leading clinical oncologist Jane Marr from the Macmillan Cancer Support in the UK, the advice that I would have previously given to one of my patients would have been to take it easy. This has now changed significantly because of the recognition that if physical exercise were a drug, it would be hitting the headlines. I preach and preach on this channel about the benefits of strength training and muscle building for both men and women. Not just for performance or to look good or to feel good or to build confidence, but also for your health. Obviously, I would not be one to disregard the medical sciences, but I am one who believes in taking care of yourself so you don't need medication. That includes eating healthfully, staying hydrated, getting plenty of sleep, but also routine exercise. Let this video be one more reason for you, whoever and wherever you are, to take control of your life and take a step in a positive direction. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please like and share it if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And if you enjoy my content, please consider donating to my Patreon, which is linked below, even just a dollar a month to show your support. And if you'd like to sign up for my affordable online training and nutrition service, head over to the Vegan Muscle Academy, which is also linked below. Finally, please leave comments below and share your thoughts. If you'd like to ask me something directly, though, I would ask that you please head over to my blog, Stronger Faster Vegan, and drop a comment under the appropriate blog entry. I will also link that below for your convenience. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.